Hey guys, gonna do a little update video on these Irish Setters. I put a video out about a year ago on both of these boots, kind of comparing the two. Uh, in all fairness, I've wore these quite a bit, but I haven't worn them throughout the year. They're suit, let me put these to the side here. These are super comfortable. They've held up good, mainly most of my walkings in the grass. So the sole's done really good to be wet, to be in wet conditions and just grassy, nasty conditions. Again, if you're walking on the pavement, I don't believe these would last that long. I can see somewhere here around the front and some on the back heel here. But, uh, and again, that separation I mentioned on the first one has got a little bit worse, but it's held up. It stayed together, but it's still it's got a little bit longer there. But, uh, They've been real good boots, very comfortable. They're filthy right now. I just dusted them off a little bit for the video. Need to give them a good clean in here, but uh, for the most part, they've held up very comfortable. They're second to none on the boots I have had in my life as far as comfort goes. Uh, I used to wear Wolverine Durashocks uh, and I loved them. The bottoms would always crack on them, but I loved them for just for their comfort alone. And I'll put these right there with them, at least in my opinion. These are wonderful as far as comfort goes. Uh, I cut the back tab off. You can tell they stick up. It has like a pull tab. And my pants, I rarely wear long pants. I always wear shorts. But when I do, they would hang on that. And I just can't stand that. So I just cut them off with a knife. And uh, so other than that, I love them. I would highly recommend them for anybody walking in grass and such. Again, on a pavement, I'm not sure how long they'll last. I know these uh, soles on these from videos I see don't last long at all. I rarely wear the 875s because they're just so uncomfortable. But you can kind of see how they've held up for me over the years. I'm a big Keen fan, and, and normally I just throw my Keens on because they're a little more waterproof and... Uh, I just, I don't know why. These are more comfortable, but I just wear those Keens almost every single day. And I, I should wear these a little bit more, but I got a lot of shoes. I'm kind of a shoe nerd and got a lot of boots and shoes, but I got no complaints with these personally, none whatsoever. The insides held up fairly good. You might see a random dog hair in there. Sorry, we got puppies, but so far, I got no complaints at all. I've said that probably three times now, but I just don't know how they hold up for you guys that, that are on concrete all the time. You know, I, I probably wouldn't recommend them because of this, this separation. And again, I think they would wear down really, really quickly. I'd probably go with Thor Goods. I'm gonna buy me a pair of those very soon. I've been talking about that for a year. I wanted the all black mock toe ones with the black uh, wedge sole but I guess they sold out. I don't know if they're discontinued. I just can't find a pair. I'm kind of holding out for those because I got all these different colors and these. As far as these go, I've never got them fully broken in. I I just hate wearing them. They're uncomfortable as can be, but uh, I love the look of them. I think they're the best looking boot made and I'm gonna keep trying to get them broken in. Now I don't commit and wear them two or three weeks at a time. I'll wear them a day or two and then throw them in the closet and go back to the comfortable ones. I only wear them on on uh, days I don't have much going on, or if we go somewhere nice and and uh, I'll put them on because I don't I'm not one of these people that dress up, but but to me th these look good with a pair of jeans or or whatnot. And uh, I'm gonna try some of this leather cream here from Red Wing. I don't know how good it is. But I'm gonna try it. They told me it wouldn't darken the leather, but we're gonna find out. I may make a video doing it, or, or heck, I may, I may throw it on here real quick here in just a minute and see, start it anyway, just see what it looks like because I wanna, wanna get that done. But if you have any more questions about these, let me know, and I'll see if I can uh, answer them to the best of my ability. Again, I'm no shoe expert. I just like my work boots and I don't wear them for style. I'm not, I'm not a stylish person. I'm just an old country boy. I started to buy leather 
strings for these yesterday while I was at the Red Wing store. I come close to buying leather strings to replace these. I double knot mine. I don't know how good the leather would do on that. It'd probably be hard to get it untied, so kind of why I stuck with these for now. But uh, we'll throw some of this on here real quick and see how it uh, if it darkens them or not. We'll see if they're telling the truth. I kind of like the color of them, but if it darkens them, oh, so be it. It's supposed to soften them a little bit too and help break them in. I don't know how true that is, but we'll find out. And I'll let you guys know if you're interested, if you haven't tried this. I always use Hubert's. I've never put, a, put Hubert's on these. I do my the Irish setters there and I have really liked it. It's good, good stuff. Got a little bit of a odd smell some people complain about, but it doesn't bother me none. So far, it's not darkening it much. I may have should have cleaned these a little bit first, but they're not too, too dirty. Again, I don't wear them to do any kind of work in or anything. Maybe put a little too much on too. I don't know. I'm just interested in if it's gonna darken them or not. I don't want them to be darkened really. I like the lighter color. That's why I bought them. But it's still, it's not gonna hurt my feelings if they do darken up a little bit. I just wanna get them broke in. Everybody says they're the most comfortable boots ever in life and I'm just not having that experience. I don't know, don't know why I have bad feet. I have tendonitis and maybe that has something to do with it. But these over here, golly, you talk about comfortable. I hope this leather soaks this stuff in. It's just kind of smearing it right now. What kind of conditioners and grease or what is it? What kind do you guys use for your boots? Let me know. I'll try anything as long as it's good. All I've ever used is Hubert's. So and I've heard the snow seal, I think it's called. I seen it yesterday at a store. I come close to buying it. I heard it was good but I need to watch some videos on that to see before I commit to it. I've stopped at the Red Wing outlet and they recommended this. I was just gonna see if they had anything and she said, oh, I guarantee you it won't darken it. So I'm trying it out to see. We'll see if it absorbs it here. Hubert just would already be kind of mostly absorbed in. Might be putting too much of this for more than recommended. I don't know. But yeah, it didn't darken it too much at all. Maybe a tad, maybe a tad, but it's still wet. But we shall see. And I'll make a follow-up video on this and see if it works, if it makes any differences at all in the softness of the leather. I'll make an honest video because, of course, I'm not sponsored. And even if I was, I would still tell the truth on it. I don't know if you're supposed to buff this with the brush afterwards. I don't know. I may let it sit here a minute and see see how it turns out. I hope it absorbs it a little bit. I may have should have done it without the gloves on. I just really didn't want this all over my fingers. 
That Huber just stays with you two or three days once you get it on your hands. Last video I made, I had people aggravating in the comments because I was rubbing my fingers together, but I couldn't get that stuff off. That old Hubert, it just, my fingers were slick. I couldn't, couldn't get it off for two or three days. It stayed with me. But anyway, I don't know how to edit videos and sorry if this is boring. I'm just trying to, Trying to put this on in real time so you all can see if it's something you may want to try or not. If I mess them up somehow or change the color, I'll buy another pair later on and just use these for work if I can ever get them broke in. I was hoping I could and just, I wanted to have one pair of boots I could wear for several years and resole. But, that's not working out at the moment. But it darkened it up a little bit, but it's still wet. So we'll see once it lightens or once it dries, if it, if it lightens back up. But 